Hey friends, we ain't no ram man in. Don't forget this. I ran into a guy about a week ago somewhere. This is the first time in history. Now, he told me that he took his hubs off because he thought that they were too hard to turn. He about 50 years old. Big old grown man, about 6'3". That's what he told me. Anyway, we have had reports of some people saying that, well, Wayne, my, my lockers are hard to turn or they won't turn all the way to the... They go close, but they won't click and yada, yada, yada. Back in the day, up through even the early 80s, the front visor of all four-wheel drive trucks, they had some instructions for engaging the four-wheel drive. And every one of them said, you may need to move the vehicle slightly, roll it front or backwards several inches to completely lock in the hubs or lock them out. And the reason because of that is spline bind. You have to remember that all of this is connected with splines and it's all modern splines, 45 degree in blue splines and things are very tight. So, for this, for example, let's look at our hub. Our hub has got all those splines in there. And this thing is sitting here. All these teeth are lined up with those splines. And then inside here, we've got a gear. And at the very same time, this must line up with that one, which must line up with that one, which must slide together and at the same time stay directly in that big groove with no give whatsoever. With no give whatsoever. The probability of that happening all the time is very unlikely. It's just very unlikely. So. Here we are looking at your typical locker. When these two gears are together, it is engaged. When these two gears are together, they are engaged. I just turn the locker all the way. It's not engaged. You can see that it's not engaged because they're not touching because the splines are off by just a few thousands I just moved that little gear a few thousands and it locks down so you got this happy medium of how big of a spring do I use right here so that they disengage when the person uses his little paws right here? Do I make it stiffer and make it even harder to turn? I don't know. Real light mineral oil or, you know, machine oil, WD-40 will make them a little bit easier, but once again, it's just physics. Every now and then, in order to get two, three, four, five, or six gears to line up. Picture this. You might have to rotate one just a little bit. You might just have to do that. There, it just engaged on its own. It just engaged on its own because they was in perfect alignment. But you know what? I didn't have that son bitch sitting in there. This was one of the key failures of the vacuum hubs in the 90s that started off keeping people from getting out of the buggies. The vacuum motors and stuff didn't have the power to overcome the springs. Sometimes they wouldn't engage. Sometimes they'd disengage. 
Everybody in my generation remembers hearing all about them damn vacuum hubs. Some bitches wouldn't engage, wouldn't disengage. Hell, they weren't worth the fine fuck, basically. That was the first attempt of moving on before axle disconnects. But that's why they didn't work very well. So anyway, if you'll just move this, you know, it'll help out. God bless you. God bless America. And happy trucking.